I challenged them at halftime to play with passion in the second half, and I thought they did that really well uh, throughout. I, started, I thought it started with Tree in the second half. She played with a lot of energy. You know, I think she had the one possession in the first half where she blocked the shot and got the rebound and, and just said, play with that kind of passion in the second half. And, and she did that. And then Kylie as well um, throughout the game played with a lot of passion. And, uh, unfortunately, we didn't have enough of that in the first half, but I I'm proud of our seniors. I do want to say that they're great kids, uh, have persevered and had great attitudes and, and uh, wish we could have got a, a W for them tonight because uh, they're certainly deserving of good things to happen for them. I think I just uh, realized that I wanted to send our seniors off on a better note than how we were playing in the first half. And that kind of gave me more energy. And just going off of Kylie and her energy uh, really helped me just get after it. And I love going against big post players inside. And so um, Rutgers has a couple of them. So that was a really good challenge for me. And um, I just went from there. I, I mean, yeah, they're very physical inside, and uh, keeping them off the boards was a challenge. But um, I think as a team, we did pretty well inside with uh, with them. I, it, we just had to guard them more before they caught the ball. Once they caught the ball, then it was a little harder, but something to work on in the future. Yeah, you know, um, my teammates and coaches have made it a lot of fun, you know, this year, even though maybe the win and loss column doesn't show it. Um, so I'm just trying to go out with fighting, leaving it all on the floor and um, doing the best I can for my teammates and coaches. For both of you, Coach Stringer just said you guys really played hard, very complimentary. How does it make you feel? She's won a lot, few more coaches than Coach, but like not every game. So how does it make you feel when you hear it? Nice thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, it means a lot. Me and Tree, we, um, you know, we talk, we talk to each other after every practice, I feel like, after every game, you know, trying to make, make it easier on each other. And um, we feed off of each other. That's what uh, leaders do. And when you have two of them like us, um, when Tree gets excited and makes a shot, it makes me excited. And I know it makes her excited when I make a shot. And, um, you know, that's what we have each other for is just to celebrate the little things and um, enjoy one another. <laughs> I wasn't feeling the first half, but um, uh, no, I mean, I knew that uh, my game has expanded over these few years and I, I can take it out to the three point line. And so, um, you know, that was something that I felt like I, I could do against them. Um, but uh, yeah, I just went from there, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's certainly, that was one of our strategies is to, to, to make number one have to guard in the perimeter because she's so good on the low block and, and make her have to defend. And a lot of a lot of kids struggle to guard on the perimeter, with, especially with that size. Anything else for players? Um, so the second quarter, uh, your team was outscored 20 to 10. Um, what do you think you know, was the difference maker in that quarter? Um, because the other quarters, you, you won in the third and fourth quarter, and then the first quarter, you only lost by four. So what do you think? Um, I would say just our ability to make shots, you know, um, we got to stay consistent for all four quarters and be able to knock down the open three or open shot or get to the rim and stay aggressive. Um, you know, it's not easy after you miss your first two shots or your first two layups um, to keep that aggression and keep going. But um, I would say that's kind of what hurt us and we just got to stay positive and do what we can. Right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks.
Yeah, I don't know that I'm real big on moral victories, but certainly I liked the passion a lot better in the second half, and I was disappointed in our passion the first half. And I think we, you know, we talked a little bit about our immaturity, and I think that showed up. Uh, we didn't make shots early, and we let that affect our aggressiveness and just our our swagger and our confidence. Um, and part of that, uh, Rutgers is really good defensively, um, but I felt like that first half we just didn't didn't play with a lot of passion and a lot of fight. We had a great crowd here, senior day. That to me, there was no excuse not to have that. Yeah, it's something we're not great at. We're just it's something we got to get better. Our guards don't attack the rim uh, good enough. And, um, you know, Tree got there three times. Alex got there two times. We had two two free throws out of our guards. And that's not very good, especially when a team like them is playing pressure man and getting into you uh, quite a bit. Um, you know, that's something we got to grow. CC obviously was our best at it, and that hurt. But uh, other guards need to attack and do a better. That's one of the ways when you're not making shots, of getting to the foul line is a great way to, to uh, change things. And, and we don't do a very good job of that. Yeah, it's better to hear positive than negative, I guess. And I admire Coach Stringer. She's a great lady and has done this a long time in a lot of places and, and won a lot of basketball games. So, yeah, and I thought we played really with a ton of energy and a lot of heart in the second half. Yeah, uh, Rutgers defensively mainly. And part of we've changed a little bit. You know, we just don't have the depth. Alex and Tree need to be on the court for us to play well. And they're not going to be on the court for 40 minutes, in a, you know, on a track meet. So we've changed a little bit, you know, just because of our lack of depth and um, with CC and Simone being out. Um, so we've made it a little bit more half court. And, you know, they're really good defensively. So it, there's not many teams that put up a ton of points against Rutgers. Yeah, I thought she uh, really fought the other night and played with energy. And I, I think Alex missed a few shots early today and let that affect her. I thought she played in a very good second half, but her first half was not great for Alex. And I think sometimes one of the things she needs to get better at when she misses some shots uh, and she missed a couple early, you know, sometimes then she doesn't play. It takes her a while to get going, and it took her a while to the second half to really get going. But uh, she's very talented, and I love her heart and I love how hard she plays. But sometimes, um, you know, as a freshman, when you miss some shots, you let it affect you. Yeah, we we still want to finish this the best we can. You know that, that for me that that and we have Kylie's a senior, Sarah's a senior. So you know I'm focused on how do we find a way to win for them and make this the best best we can. Um, so that that's the focus right now. We've got a great class coming. We've got plenty of time to think about the future. You know after the season's done. But I want you know Kylie and Sarah to experience you know it as best we can and hopefully get some wins. Yeah, I think it does. I think you, you, you tell you know, one of the things you, I said at halftime is, you know, go play with passion. Play and let the, the score take care of itself. You play with passion. And they did that second half. So now can we do that for with two halves with Wisconsin? And uh, I, th I think if we do, good things will happen. Yeah, I think it hasn't helped. It's on our shooting hand, so comfort. But you know, I think it's more just kind of getting back in the flow, sitting out a week. You know, she shot a three in the first half. It was a great take. It was right there, set on the front rim, and fell off. You know, I think if she makes that, she probably gets herself going and plays pretty well. So I think she's just got to get herself back in that rhythm that she had going for a while. And part of it, I said at halftime, you know, just get your adrenaline going. When we were at Minnesota, you could tell right away she had her adrenaline with all the fans there. You know, when you play the game with adrenaline, you shoot the ball better, you jump better, you move better. And I told her and Tree, we, you need to get your adrenaline in the second half and play with that. And they did. Anything else, Coach? Uh, I'm doing a write up on Sam Langan. Yep. Yeah, Sam's one of the one of the best in the business. I think you know, I think she has a, a, a just a great ability with physical therapy as kids get hurt to, to get them back and do the right things. And um, certainly, you know, the, one of the things they've changed, thankfully, the schedule. Right, right now, they play 18 conference games from January 31st to March 2nd. That's not fair to anybody. It's just not right for the the athletes to have to go through that. And especially with us, with the you know having seven scholarship kids and two walk-ons um, out there playing a lot. You know, it's just a grind and it's hard. So I really admire Sam. I told her, uh, uh, gave her Valentine's gift and said, you know, I think you're one of the best and, and you've done a great job keeping, keeping our team together. 
um, she's really, really good, and I'm, we're thankful for her. It's not an easy job. I know a lot of uh, – there's so many high school kids that come out and say they want to be athletic trainers. I think if they followed Sam for about three months, they'd probably change their mind, honestly, for what she gets paid and the hours she works and the demand. You know, I, I admire athletic trainers because it's, it's a very difficult job, and a lot of times it's a thankless job. All right. Thank you.